What's up, family? Welcome to Mini Bites Session 36, and today's theme is Do You Want to Be Well? My name is Erin McCluskey, and I'm a mindset and performance coach. If you'd like to learn more about my work or uh, get in touch with me directly, you can visit my website at www.erinjewelcoaching.com. All together, uh, E R I N J E W E L L C O A C H I N G. Dot com and there's a place for you to um, put your information in and send a message. So today's theme is uh, do you want to be well? And I, I think the first time as I reflect on this, the first time it became clear to me that not all beings want to be well, um, want to necessarily be well, was when I was living in Hawaii. And a friend of mine in Hawaii taught me um, this mantra, which is basically a chant or a saying, uh, loka samasta sukino bhavantu. And there are different translations for it. Uh, but essentially it means may all beings have peace. And I can recall that we would, we would sing it together and we would say it together, loka samasta sukino bhavantu. And it, you know, basically means may all beings have peace. And this person, we were talking about it at one point and he said, it's a very selfish statement. And I said, well, how so? And he said, well, because it's assuming that all, you know, we're saying we want all beings to have peace and that's assuming that all beings want peace and maybe all beings don't want peace. And I think that was really the first time I began to uh, see a lot of things differently. Uh, in particular, the fact that not everybody wants peace. Not everybody wants to be well, which sounds crazy, right? Because it's like, gosh, no, ultimately all, we all want to be happy. We all want to, but that's, that's just simply not the case. And you know, I have a few theories on that and, and none of this is original content. None of my mini bite sessions are everything that I share. The topics and the themes are always coming from somewhere else. They're either coming from another teaching or experience that I've had. And those of you who work with me and those of you who are familiar with my approach know that I share, uh, my background, not only in the corporate sector, but I share the experiences that I've had along the way in my travels and working with practitioners around the globe. Uh, in alternative types of healing and everything that I learn I share uh, with the people that I work with and I share on these mini bite sessions and so um, why is it that not everyone wants to be well well sometimes people get a lot more out of not being well or the story around them not being well than they would um, perceivably if they uh, were actually striving to be well so let's break this down a little bit let's unpack this a little bit um, so let's say I'm someone who gets sick a lot. Let's say I'm someone who has chronic illness, um, where I'm constantly in and out of the hospital for various procedures. And, um, over a period of time, uh, I begin to associate lovability with the attention I get when I'm sick. So actually what really happened was when I was a kid, I got sick once I went to the hospital, I got a lollipop. The doctor paid a lot of attention to me. And my parents, who were otherwise not affectionate people, gave me a lot of love at that time. This is not my actual story. This is hypothetical. Um, let's say that happened. When I was a kid, anytime I got sick, I got more attention and quote unquote more love than when I was quote unquote well or healthy. So as I got older, I actually developed a chronic illness that had me in and out of the hospital. And in fact, as I got older, I developed um, illnesses that weren't diagnosable. I would go to doctors and they would say, we don't know what's wrong with you. And this goes on and on and on for years and years. And every time I'm sick, I need people to help me do things that I would otherwise be able to do on my own. Um, or I, you know, every time I have to go into the hospital, I'm, you know, I'm attended to, I'm given attention and I'm giving, I'm given love that I otherwise wouldn't be given. So, um, again, this is all just an example or a hypothetical, but it's an example of someone who may not want to be well, because this person at a very young age learned to associate being sick with being loved. And this person at a very young age learned that when they're healthy or well, they're not going to get that attention, that love, that validation that they would get if they were sick. And, um, it's really profound because it doesn't even have to be that extreme. It could just be that, um, as a young child, the individual, you know, there were certain things along the way the individual was not feeling 
as far as affection or attention or encouragement that led them to tell themselves a story that they would need to go to certain extremes in order to get that attention or that love or that validation. And that can manifest in illness where the individual, when they're sick, they are attended to, they are quote unquote lovable. Uh, but when they're healthy, they're not given as much attention. So therefore they are not lovable. And this is a very abbreviated uh, view of what it means when people actually don't desire to be well. Um, I have personally had in at least one case, a client um, stop working with me because they were um, not ready to release that story that they were telling themselves that by being sick, they were loved. They, they were unable to accept that we are self-healing because by accepting that we're self-healing, this person was going to have to release their story of, um, of getting help every time they were sick. If they became self-healing, then they wouldn't need that help anymore, which they associated that help with love and validation. And they felt unlovable without it. So, um, I'm about to go into more detail with this as I hop on the weekly redefining call at 6 PM. And if you would like to join me for that, you can log into zoom. I have the information posted on Facebook and LinkedIn. Otherwise, um, please do check out my YouTube channel. It is Aaron McCluskey. Uh, thanks for listening. Love you all until the next time.